Pulse rate or heart rate can be assessed by taking it with a stethoscope. If you don't have a stethoscope, you need to find a place to, to uh, feel the pulse. And the best place to find that on a horse is right in front of this muscle right here because the facial artery comes right from underneath the jaw over the bottom of the jawbone and up right along the front surface of this, of this muscle. So if I feel for it right here, I'll feel a little bump right there going this way. To try and feel that with my finger would be difficult, so I'm gonna lay my hand here on the opposite side, feel for the, the artery right there and feel it going back and forth under my finger between my finger and the bone, and then I can just lay my finger right along the length of it. So one of the things that happens is the horses go to chewing and moving their jaw and it's difficult to stay on it, so it's easier with your hand on this side to stay with them and for them to relax. Normal is 36, and oftentimes when I'm handling their head at first, they're gonna elevate their pulse just a little bit, so 48 wouldn't be bad. I'm gonna count for 15 seconds, and I'll expect there should be nine, and multiply by four, and that's 36. One, two, three, four, five, and that's about 15 seconds, so that's he's right on the money. If you happen to have a stethoscope, the best place to listen is right here behind the elbow on the left side in this flat spot right in here, right there. If you go too far back, you're gonna miss it. You go too low, you'll miss it. You go too far forward, well, you're gonna have trouble with that. If you go too high, you'll miss it. So right behind the point of the elbow in that flat spot. The biggest problem is it's not as brisk and sharp a pulse as a human pulse. It's a kind of a slow roller, so be patient, relax. If you can find the artery, you can find the right spot. Lay your finger on there, as I said, with the same pressure you would feel for your own pulse and be patient.